The thing that makes Tribeca All Access special is that we as an organization is not afraid to ask the tough questions, not afraid to take chances on filmmakers that other people may or may not be willing to take the chance on. And so for that, and doing it consistently for 10 years at a level that has shown a lot of great films and filmmakers come out of it, is always going to be special. I also happen to be a 2003 Tribeca All Access grantee. We were beginning production of a documentary film. It was at the Tribeca All Access program that I met one of my film mentors who then helped us secure additional funding as the years went by. We brought the Sister of Night through Tribeca All Access in 2007. Our lead producer, Lydia Pilcher, uh, we met her actually through TAA. And at the time, you know, we didn't have that producing team together yet. And TAA really, you know, set up that meeting with her. And that, that was the initial chemistry, the initial connection that has lasted from 2007 till now. Everything started for me with TAA. It pulls you up out of obscurity and gives you a chance to make your case for your film. In The Sister of Night, there is that kernel of, of telling a diverse story that I think is unusual and I think which TA really embraced. Now in its 10th year, we see the power of building sustainable initiatives that are driven by people who are passionate. It really has um, influenced all of the other funds and all the other filmmaker programs here. It's a model now. I mean, it's a model program that shows uh, this is worth the effort, um, investing this time and care and amount of resources in these filmmakers. It's not short-term help, it's, it's help for careers. And, you know, if the program didn't exist, what would happen to the 500 filmmakers that we supported? Over is that how many? Film? 500? 500 in total, yeah. That's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> the future for Tribeca All Access for me is really looking at the network that we built. And I really wish that we can continue to grow that, not only just domestically, but look at internationally, at how we can, as an organization, expand and make sure that the conversations that are happening now in TAA continues to happen.